Houston Live Sox Joe and Rodeo just came to an end talking to the man who won the tie down roping in kind of a Hollywood ending um, at Rodeo Houston. This is Ty Harris, uh, who just won $50,000, number two in the world standings. Ty, congratulations on Rodeo Houston and welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I talk about the Hollywood ending. Folks probably know if they were paying attention. You and your younger brother, Joel, finished in a tie at the end of the shootout round. You were both 8 2 both riding the same horse. What was that like? What were the emotions of that all like? Man, it was crazy. Me and Braden, have, we, we've joked about not doing any good at the same rodeo uh, throughout the, his whole rookie year. We never really even placed at the same rodeo. You know, and we roped at the, sa- at the same rodeos, the same exact performances all year long, and never really ha- did any good. Uh, so it was kind of – we had joked about that last year. And then so for our first one to, to have any success at, to be Houston and actually tie – and win first and second at the biggest rodeo of the year. I mean, uh, it's pretty crazy. Like you said, pretty storybook ending for sure. It came down to a rope off between the two of you. Joel Braden broke the barrier. Um, and so all you had to do was be like 19-5 or something like that. Um, how did you approach that last run? Man, it happened so fast. I just said, don't break the barrier and then go make your run. I, did, I just told myself to – to not, not lay off too much where something crazy would happen, you know, not miss the very too far, but to just see see a good honest start and then, you know, go make just go make my run. I didn't try to put too much thought into it. That's where I'm I usually do better when there's not that much thinking involved whenever I can just go <laughs> react. So let me ask you about that horse you rode. It was a bay horse. I don't know the horse's name. I really don't know the horse at all. Other than the fact that you and your brother both rode the horse in the shootout round, both rode the horse in that rope off. Tell me about that bay horse. Man, he's just uh, he's a horse that my dad owns that we bought a few, a few years back and worked with uh, for a long time. And um, man, just it's it's one of those deals where we always loved his feel, but he kind of had some quirks to him and and different things. And with a lot of help from our friends and and then. You know, from a lot of patience, obviously now he's he's doing amazing for us. He's actually the horse I won the American on last year. And, you know, we've won close to 900, I think it's 940,000 on him over the past few years. So, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. He's just a little old bay pony looking horse that he don't look like much. And, uh, you know, but man, he did it right there six times in a row on the biggest stage. I think that kind of shows what he's all about. He's got it. He must have a ton of heart. Because, sure. yeah, he there's no backup in him. Okay, so I want to ask you about something that I asked you about before we started this interview. You own one of the single most gorgeous Palominos anybody's ever seen in their lives. A mare named Sally, who was number two, right? Uh, the yes, reserve sir. champion to be the horse of the year last year. Um, yes, she's on injured reserve, but man, oh man, you're going to have a stable when she comes back in this bay. Yes, sir, that's the plan. You know, just uh, Especially with me and my brother both rodeoing full-time, I mean... It's hard. To, you, you can't have enough good ones. As, as if you got a lot of good horses, then uh, and you're doing your job, then it's a lot of fun out here rodeo. And it's not that much fun if you're not riding good. If without good horses, you, you can't do what you what you love to do and succeed at a high level. So, what's it like rodeoing with your brother? He took some time away. His story is he he went away, went off on a mission, came back. Um, he's 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 a he's a man of very deep faith. We've heard that in a lot of the interviews he's done on TV. What's it like rodeoing with him? man it's awesome it's really rejuvenated me i mean I, i've always loved rodeo but it's given me an even deeper love for it because i want to like i want to help him do good so much and i don't know it just it's been it's been, it's really rejuvenated me to see him go to these rodeos for the first time and like we're about to rope at austin tonight and just to come to these rodeos for my seventh trip it just makes it even cooler to to get to experience it with him it makes it kind of feel new again you know Ty, before I let you go, how much would it mean for both of you to make the NFR this year to you? Everything. I mean, I, I that was the goal and the plan last year, and it, it didn't work out. He had a rough year, but um, and I had a, ended up having a rough NFR. But I think hopefully this this win would is going to be huge for both of us in our in our success for this year and and for the future. Hopefully, we can let it kickstart us, and uh, hopefully, you'll be seeing both of us in December. How had you done in Houston in the past? average i made the short round once but never done any good never made the final four round um i'd done okay but last year his first houston rodeo his rookie year he actually fell off so oh no i forgot about that uh yeah that's 
one of those memories you wish everybody would forget and nobody does. Um, good luck in Austin. You have gotten off to an amazing start on your year. Uh, Shad Mayfield has been unstoppable. He's number one in the world standings, but you're right behind him after that big win in Houston. And I think it's going to be a fun year to watch you guys in the tie down rope. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ty. Good luck in Austin. Thanks. Have a great one. Tie down roper Ty Harris joining us.